Thank you so much for joining us as we learn a little bit more about the Goodwill Easter Seals Miami Valley and the programs that they offer in our communities. I'm joined today by Cindy Carasoni and Beverly Watkins. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for hey, having us. Yes, thank you Cindy, so much. Let's start with you. Give me uh, an overview of your organization and the services they provide. Yes, yeah, so Goodwill Easter Seals Miami Valley is quite a large organization. Mm -hmm. Everyone looks at the Goodwill stores as Goodwill stores, but it's a larger agency that encompasses so many programs. So when you go to shop and donate at a Goodwill store, you're actually supporting 40 plus programs in your community. We service 23 counties with 32 stores, and we also have an auto auction, but all that revenue 86 cents of every dollar goes to these programs that we're servicing for persons with disability and other challenges that they may encompass throughout their lives. So. Great. I'd love to hear yeah. a little bit more about that. First, yeah. uh, Beverly, explain your role if you don't mind. So I'm the Director of Employment Services with Goodwill and so we work with individuals who come to us who are seeking opportunities to obtain employment. So we work with other partners in our community like Opportunities for Ohioans with Disabilities and we assist them in placing individuals and finding the right places for them to work in their community so that they can earn a wage, increase their independence, and be a part of society that's working and contributing toward things. We also work with individuals who don't have a referral source but just would like to come in and have us update their resume for them or help them apply for jobs using our computer lab there at Main Street. We have a lab that's open every day, Monday through Friday, so they can come in and update their resumes, they can do online job searching, and we have staff available that can help them do that. What do you see as the biggest challenges to the clients you serve? The biggest uh, barrier that most individuals that we're working with is transportation to and from their jobs. Um, some of our individuals are on fixed routes or bus lines, and then some of our individuals are not. And so being able to get to and from work can be a big challenge. I'd say the second challenge is helping our community to understand that everyone has a place to work and there is something that everyone can do to contribute to an employer's success and their overall revenue. Mm -hmm. what, what are the biggest areas right now for you that you find opportunities in for work? Yeah, so we place a lot of people in customer service positions mm -hmm. right now. Call centers are actively hiring and so you know, if you think about an individual who has physical limitations and can't do a lot of walking back and forth, doesn't have a lot of stamina, a seated position in a call center, you know, doing inbound or outbound calls is always something that we can help someone find. Um, customer service in, in food industry, food industry is really big today, but then there's also those professional individuals that we're assisting and updating their resumes who are social workers or, you know, um, other case managers in other areas of, of, of our businesses today. Mm -hmm. And we also offer digital skills program oh, great. to help individuals that need to learn more skills in Microsoft, Google Analytics, I mm -hmm. believe, as yep. well. So there's a lot of those programs, too, that we have certifications in that we can train, and then they can walk away with those certifications, too. Mm -hmm. And that really helps them to get hired first above others is because when they leave, then they have those certifications. So. Mm -hmm. Cindy, earlier you mentioned Goodwill as people associating that with the stores alone, and it's so much bigger than that as an organization. Yes, it certainly is. And how did the Easter Seals part come into play? Yes, so 1934 was actually our first store, and that was in the Oregon District. So it has been there since 1934. Oh. So Goodwill has been here in the community for a very long time. But then in around 2000, we did merge with Goodwill Easter Seals, which that um, part of Goodwill Easter Seals really focuses then on the seniors and also persons with disabilities. So what that does is it helps us to broaden the persons in the community that we can help and service as well. Last year we serviced over 20,000 people and helped them obtain mm -hmm. jobs, mobility, whatever it may be to help them to become more independent. Mm -hmm. Because we always say it's about giving a hand up, not a hand out. Mm -hmm. We want them to be able to go out into the community and be independent. Mm -hmm. 
everyone wants to live independent. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to be able to be themselves mm -hmm. and be inclusive. And actually in Centerville, we have um, an adult day services, and that's for persons with uh, disabilities that they can go. It's in a house that's right there on Far Hills. And it's a home environment where they can go and be inclusive and go to the community. We offer transportation, we offer activities, all kinds of just different things to make sure no one gets left out. What are some other programs available um, to families in our area? Sure, we have, um, you know, we talked about the Easter Seals side of things. We have our child screening programs mm -hmm. where we have child screeners who are going in to work with individuals and assessing them early on. So maybe they were born prematurely and we want to make sure that we keep them up within their age range as far as their development. We have um, our car seat programs where we're helping individuals who may not have the funds to purchase a new brand new car seat when they have a child so we're, we're able to use those dollars through Easter Seals and Children's Medical Center to be able to help individuals get car seats. We have the adult day centers for individuals who are our seniors so we have senior locations where individuals that maybe they live with their sons or daughters and they have to work during the day but they need someone to you know kind of keep an eye on them and they want to be able to have activities and things to keep them busy keep their minds sharp we have our adult day centers that um, individuals can attend and and do outings and and things to keep themselves sharp we have our medical equipment loan program. Individuals in our community have been donating medical equipment for a long time. So, you know, I, I break my leg, I go to rehab, I'm done with my walker, what do I do with it? You can donate that to Goodwill. And then we have a staff um, that will go and we get it all sorted. We get it sanitized and cleaned by, our, um, cleaned by a work crew. And then we have staff that really make sure that it's safe and ready to be able to get back out in our community. And we have an office in our Dayton location on Main Street at our Main Street campus. And we also have an, an, a location in our Lima office where anyone in the community who's in need of a piece of medical equipment can come in and as long as we have it you can take it and we ask for it back if you're done with it so that we can get it cleaned up and get it back out you know pay it forward again if that's possible but we don't we don't chase it down so if you need a wheelchair or a walker or something after a surgery we can help with those things. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Back to the stores a little mm -hmm. bit. There are certain items you accept and you don't accept. What do you yes. know the guidelines roughly for yes. people who might be so interested? When you are ready to donate any of your items, what we're looking for is anything that you feel could be recycled or upcycled. Mm -hmm. um, for anyone that can purchase, we do not take mattresses or box springs. Uh, large TVs, we don't accept the TVs, or large appliances because those have some chemicals in it that could be dangerous. But other than that, you just bring it on over to any of our stores and there will be someone really nice that comes out mm -hmm. and helps you unload. And That is a service in and of itself. Yes. I mean, it's really nice for mm -hmm. people to have yeah. a place to take things right. too. I mean, it prevents a lot of waste right. and then helps people on the other and end. And that's the other side too of mm -hmm. Goodwill is that we are constantly recycling. Mm -hmm. So we saved over millions of pounds going into the landfill mm -hmm. just by recycling. Mm -hmm. um, another program that we haven't talked about as well is our Miracle Clubhouse and our Main Street Recovery Center. Um, it's all about mental wellness. Mm -hmm. If uh, Miracle Clubhouse is a membered clubhouse and it's for anyone that has a mental health issue that um, needs somewhere to go during the day. Mm -hmm and it's run by the members Great. and it's all supported by our Goodwill stores and I keep saying that over and over again because I think sometimes the mission gets lost out in the community because they see the stores and things get donated why well, donate that stuff where's it going what 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 programs are you doing that I mm -hmm. give my stuff to so mm -hmm. It's really important that people know that it's going to your community 
to people that really, really need assistance. So, mm -hmm. Along those lines, how can people help? In what other ways beyond donation can people get involved? We always are searching for volunteers, and if anyone would ever like to volunteer their time, we have a number of things. We have the computer lab where people volunteer. We have different activities and events that go on, and all they need to do is, if they that have a talent or have time, just go to our website and, and be able to, you'll find the volunteer section and you can volunteer on there and they'll reach out and, and contact you. And what's the best phone number, email address, website? I think the best way is the website, okay. which is GESMV.org, okay. stands for Goodwill Easter Seals Miami Valley. <laughs> <laughs> and there's actually a contact us on there and it's just a simple form. Great what mm -hmm. they want to do, what they're looking for, and if they have any questions too, they can just put it in that form too. It comes directly to me. <laughs> we so appreciate that you guys are part of this community, helping this community in so many different ways. Cindy, Beverly, thank you so much for thank your time. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you as well for joining us. You heard how to get more information and get involved if you're interested.